Hi everyone, I'm here with David. David is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. Uh, thanks for being with us, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right, so David is also um, a physique competitor, bodybuilder. Um, and so we're gonna talk about protein, something I talk about a lot, but protein is so important because we need the protein. Why? Um, because we need the essential amino acids. And so eating the high quality protein and getting a variety of protein is critical. And doing what you're doing, you need a lot of protein, lifting weights. And so talk about just how difficult it can be to get 200 grams of protein. Yeah, so, and uh, excuse the noise in the background here, but. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah just, so just so everyone knows, that noise is at Fitness for 10, tearing down a wall to put in some more uh, powerlifting things like uh, squat rack and um, deadlift platforms and so on. So bear with us on the pounding. Yeah, and, and it's going to be great too. But um, yeah, in terms of the protein, Steve, it's, it is very difficult, not, not as much for me anymore because I'm used to the process, but really, really it's a lot of uh, every single meal that I'm eating right now um, has, you know, protein included in there, whether it be, you know, breakfast with, you know, an egg with egg whites or, you know, my multiple other meals with chicken, um, lean, really lean ground beef, like 10% fat ground beef. Um, or even ground turkey at this point. I'm about 14 weeks out, so that will change. But um, there's about five meals a day, not including the after work, or I'm sorry, after workout protein shake um, and my casein shake. So in all reality, there's seven meals total if you include the shake. So all of those things have protein in them. Um, and so I'm going for about 240 grams of protein, which is a little bit more than um, a pound per, uh, a gram per pound of body weight for me. But for me, that's very important because going through all of this, you know, rigorous training and things like that on a normal basis, it'd be about, a, you know, a gram per pound because I want to continue to grow the muscle, recover the muscle, get those amino acids that you get through protein. Um, but that's what my, my diet looks like right now in terms of protein intake. And, and so about how much is that? I mean, to get, how many ounces of chicken? I mean, just kind of ballpark it. I know you and I both track our macros and our calories just to see where we are, especially you doing what you're doing. Um, but how much chicken and lean ground beef, how much is that? So um, for each meal, because um, I'm doing right now the lean ground beef, ground turkey and chicken. So a couple different meats in a day, but each of those meals is eight ounces of that meat. Um, so that's a lot for most people to, you know, eat 24 ounces of meat in a day, plus other things, you know, vegetables, etc., and carbs at this point. So, um, but yeah, that's about 24 ounces of meat just by itself. And that's lean meat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So um, that's um, a big key there and well you're competing but for people who want to not blow their calories out of the roof with um high fat now we need essential fatty acids too so we need healthy fats also very important you cannot cut fats out of your diet and low fat diets are not something that's good for the average person because we need those also but if you're trying to get your protein up and not blow your calories out the top, you got to eat lean meats. That's chicken. Um, a, a, a lean protein that a lot of people don't know is uh, shrimp. <clears throat> put put your shrimp into your little calculator, you know, your macro counter, and shrimp is loaded with protein. Why is it, why it has such a high protein content? Because doesn't have any fat and it doesn't have any carbs in it, it's just pure protein. So shrimp and then also chicken, really very little fat and very little carbohydrates. So 
Um, when you're eating lean protein type meats, that's really going to help you get the calories or the, keep the calories down and get the protein up. And it's really important. You know, my mother-in-law, one time she said, my wife said, so uh, you're not getting enough protein. She goes, I had an egg and some peanut butter. Yeah, I see you laughing. Uh, that's nothing. You got nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, and older people, I believe, need more protein. So there's also the amino acid factor. And the amino acids break down into singular form. And then your body's going to take those amino acids from the amino acid pool and put them back together for whatever things it needs. Now, protein doesn't just build muscle. It creates enzymes and it does all kinds of other things in your body, which have to do with chemical reactions and so on. So protein is very important. Um, so any last thoughts on how protein relates to you and, you know, what happens, especially someone like you who's pretty lean and getting ready for a show? What if you don't get enough protein? Yeah. So, I mean, for me, if, you know, if I'm not getting enough protein in my diet right now, um, you know, a lot of things can happen that would be, you know, negative for me, for instance, you know, uh, loss of some of that muscle growth that I've already had because the intensity of the training, you know, increased cardio to kind of help those extra, you know, energy be, ex uh, be spent there. So, you know, I'm going to be putting out a lot more energy. So using a lot more calories in other words. And so if I'm not, you know, taking in that protein to help, you know, maintain that muscle, grow the muscle, you know, the enzymes as you talked about being able to have those, those reactions that you need within your body to keep you healthy, to keep your muscles healthy, tissues, all those things, um, you know, in, in terms for me that would be negative would be, I would be much smaller by the time I get to the show. Um, and a lot of that hard work kind of, it doesn't go away, but it doesn't show as well. Your definition isn't there all those types of things for a show that you want um, because you're not maintaining that higher level of protein as you're increasing your intensity of exercise. So it's really, really important. And even somebody who's not doing a show, very important for the protein to stay at a good level that, you know, will help maintain the muscle you have and grow it. If that's what we're trying to do, you know, as a trainer, I tell people that all the time, one of the most important things is protein. Yeah. And, you know, like you said, it, it'll come right back once you once your protein and your car calories go back up, your muscle will fill right back up. But that's the whole point of a show is you want to look big and lean, right? And and you you hit on something that's really really important. And, and if you're not getting enough protein, enough protein that your body wants, you're not getting enough amino acids. There's not enough variety of amino acids and enough of them in that amino acid pool. So. Since amino acids are essential, you will die eventually without them. So if you're neglecting the protein, your body's got only one choice over a period of time. Everybody's different. It's going to, it, it needs the amino acids. So where is it going to get it? It's going to get it from your lean tissue. It needs those to survive. It doesn't just need it for muscle. So it's going to take your muscle apart, take the amino acids out of it and use those amino acids to survive. So um, protein is essential. My thing is I always err on the side of caution, which is making sure I get plenty of protein. If, if anything, I'm going to go over not under. And you all know that I all supplement, I always supplement with uh, amino acids also. And, you know, I, I had a protein shake today. That's um, 550 calories. That's it. 73, 74 grams of protein spiked with leucine and supplemented with creatine and arginine and ornithine and all the essential, all the other essential amino acids. That's what I, that's what I had. And I'm full right now on 550 calories. So, um, David, uh, thanks for your input on this. Protein is important. Now, if people want to follow you on social media, how do they do that? 
Yeah, so uh, I've got two Instagram accounts. Be great. Take a look at both. One is my uh, personal training account, you know, shows boot camps, different things like that for personal training. And that's at right fitness training on Instagram, but then my personal Instagram where I show my you know, different transformations and my progress updates for the show um, is at David Wright underscore fitness. So check them both out. Okay. And uh, if you're in the Carson City area, you can go by and say hi to David. So thanks for being with us, David, and we will see you next time. All right.